What's going on people? Eddie Wynn back and today you know the deal. Got a clothing haul for you guys. A lot of new pickups to share. These videos tend to be a little bit long so I'm going to jump right into it. First up, I got some shorts from Alternative Apparel. These are mint green sweat shorts. French terry on the inside, raw edges, white drawstring. I've been wanting these shorts for a while. I was looking online, I couldn't find them, and then they had them at my local outlet. I scooped them up with the quickness. If I can find these, I will link them down below. But I've been looking all summer. I finally got them. It's August, so it's not too late. I still got a month left of summer. And while we're talking summertime colors, I got this dark pink t-shirt from Top Man. Just a standard fitting tee, nothing crazy. I just like the color, that's the reason I grabbed it. Same deal with these mint shorts, just a summertime vibe. I do like Top Man t-shirts for the price. You kinda get what you pay for, but for only 10 bucks, I wanted to get something in this color. No regrets. All right, and next up is the t-shirt that's hanging behind me. It's from Everlane. If you're unfamiliar with Everlane and you like menswear clothing, you got to check them out. I will link their site down below. They are all basics that are affordable, good quality stuff. I've talked about them a lot. So this shirt is long sleeve. It is slightly longer than normal. Nothing crazy. There's a little bit of a boxy fit. But honestly, I got it because I want to cut the sleeves off, do that raw edge exposure. It is thicker than your normal t-shirt. It's actually really thick. You can call this a crew neck sweatshirt if you really wanted to, but I like the stripe design on here, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It was 28 bucks, I think it was. I forget the price. It's very affordable though. Everlane is straight to the consumer. No middleman. You can only get them from their website. Next up, got a little summertime hooded sweatshirt action going on. I saw this and I was like, I need it. No questions asked. I'm really digging this color, especially in the summertime. It's a lightweight hooded sweatshirt. You got your kangaroo pouch, split hems down towards the bottom. It is a little bit longer than normal, so if that's your thing, definitely check this out. No drawstrings, drop shoulders, and then French terry inside. 40 bucks. It also was not the only thing from Top Man that I picked up. This is in a light brown and it is a split hem long line t-shirt. It was 20 bucks. I would highly recommend this t-shirt if you're looking for something affordable. There's no issues with it. Like it is good quality cotton and just like the sweatshirt, I didn't have anything in this color. I thought it was a cool natural earth tone. You guys know I wear a lot of olives and off-whites, other natural tones. So I saw this and I'm like, you know what, I'm getting it. Next up, I got something that you don't see on my channel too often. It's a t-shirt with a big logo going across the front. And obviously this is from Champion. I have very few t-shirts that have logos on the front, especially something this big. So I'm very selective when I do cop something. I thought this logo was kind of vintage and then on the side, you've got that classic uh, Champion C stitched in there. So I like the fit of this as well. It's a little bit boxy, kind of like a 90s style t-shirt. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It was 18 bucks. If I find it online, I will let you guys know. Okay, next up is something I thought I would never ever say on this channel, but it happened. I have two new pickups from Forever 21. Let me just say this, I hate Forever 21. I really do, mainly because of the name. I just don't like that name. Like Forever 21, it sounds, I don't know, it's a straight up chick store for me. So they started carrying men's stuff at some point and a lot of it is just trash in my opinion. Very, very bad quality stuff. I just don't like that store. My girlfriend goes in there sometimes if she's just looking to buy something. And every time I go in there in the mall, I just get this headache immediately. Like, I just hate that place. So, with all that said, I have two tank top pickups from them. And the only reason I grabbed this tank top and one in white is for layering. A lot of you guys have been asking, how do you layer in the summertime? How do you not get too hot? I'm wearing this under a lot of my t-shirts. I have it in a few different colors. It is paper thin, like super thin material, raw edges, and they are longer than normal. Perfect for layering, and they cost like five bucks. I think $5 is the price tag. yeah. $5.90 for these. So I grabbed a few of them, 
and if I stain them or rip them or whatever it is, I don't care. It's only a $5 t-shirt. I have a gray one. I just grabbed this one in white. I would highly suggest them. I have a raw edge gray tank that I wore in the summer lookbook a lot and people were asking about it. It's definitely one of my favorite things to layer with and worst case scenario, if it gets too hot, you can wear this as is. I don't think I ever would because it drops down a little bit too far, but for the most part, it's a perfect layering piece in the summer. I will link these down in the description. I go true to size just so I get that extra length, but yeah, raw edge tank tops from Forever 21. Okay, and totally switching gears from fast fashion to designer clothing, I've got two new pickups from John Elliott. Starting off with the sweatshirt hanging behind me, this is the classic villain hoodie, one of my favorite sweatshirts of all time. I've got it in black, I've got it in maroon, but I did not have it in this classic gray color. It's got the side zips in black. The quality and fit of John Elliott clothing is unmatched, but it's super expensive and I can't buy that much of it. However, I did get this sweatshirt on sale. I'll tell you about that in a second. Let me show you the second pickup. I got some shorts in navy from season seven. I thought these were really cool the way that they have this mesh over the top and it's a little bit separated from the base. They originally cost $198. I was able to get them for $42. I was able to get this hoodie half price off. My brother went by Atrium in New York City. That's the store next to Kith or was the store next to Kith. It closed down and they had a lot of John Elliott stuff on sale. So he was able to get this for me half off and then these were marked down to 42 bucks from 198 could not pass that up that is a wrap on the video i hope you guys enjoyed it definitely hit that thumbs up button for me leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about this stuff i will link everything that i can find down in the description so if you're looking for any of this stuff it'll be in the description while you're down there go follow me on instagram twitter and check out my snapchat if you have any sizing questions feel free to ask. I will get back to you down in the comment section. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Shout out to all the new subscribers. I know there's a lot of new people that have just found my channel. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoy the content. Go check out some of my older videos if you haven't seen them. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.